Hey guys, Janine Murray here, health and fitness specialist at JanineMurray.com. Today I have a simple stretching and toning routine for those of you looking to enhance your digestion, elimination, reduce stress, and fatigue. It just takes a few minutes and it will make you sweat, as you can see. Uh, so grab your yoga mat or just a comfy spot on your floor and let's begin. All right, first up, let's start with cat cow on your hands and knees, arching and rounding through the spine. So as you arch, looking up, inhale, as you round through the spine, exhale. Inhale, expanding through the sit bones, exhale, expanding through the back of the spine, opening up through the abdominals as you arch and pushing your shoulder blades down and back, Exhale, contracting your core. This is a great core and spine balancer, balancing the front and the back of the spine, as well as opening up the sit bones and activating your breath. All right, this is one of my favorite moves. We're gonna start in a downward dog and then lift up into a three-legged dog Bend the leg, bent leg, three-legged dog, pushing the knee up and behind just a little bit while keeping your abs contracted. Straighten the leg for a few deep breaths and then bend the leg one more time. You, you will feel that stretch deeper and deeper into your large intestine and really release any tension that's held in that area. Switching sides, so starting with a three-legged dog, bend the leg behind you, one or two deep breaths right there. Straighten the leg and I want you to push through the heel and really activate the length from your hands to that foot and then bend the leg stretching deeper and deeper into that large intestine for a few deep breaths, straighten and release. All right, come on down and sit on your heels and then tuck your toes under. Grab your heels, squeezing your shoulder blades together. You're going to push your pelvis forward in what's called a posterior pelvic tilt, and then slowly bring your hips back down to your heels. This is a resistive elephant. So as you are keeping your pelvis in a posterior pelvic tilt and lifting your hips off of your heels, you are contracting the front of the thigh, the abs, as well as your glutes, and resisting that motion. Resistive stretches will help break down any fascial adhesions within the meridians that we are working here. So always moving on your exhale, opening up through that chest, making sure you do not feel this in your low back. So staying mindful, staying with your breath, not hyperextending, listening to your body. And just a side note, I did 10 repetitions with my breath of every single move that you see here. So you can double or stay with that number. All right, this next one, you're going to use a couch, ideally because it is soft, and place the top of your foot on the couch and try and have your knee just above the kneecap on the floor, leaning forward. This is a deep psoas stretch. From there, we're going to make this a resistive stretch once again. So we add resistance by kicking the back foot into the couch, and as you use the front leg as a lever, pressing your body towards the couch, I want you to resist that motion with the foot against the couch and a posterior pelvic tilt. Now I am showing an advanced version. If you've never done this move before, it is intense. Getting into that psoas releases trauma and tension from the whole nervous system and the limbic brain, so it can be very exhausting. So choose your level, stay just at the static stretch or take it into the more dynamic resistive stretch as you get more flexible. Switching sides, same thing, foot against the couch knee on the floor, ideally just above the kneecap so that you're not going to stress your knee. Finding that stretch, breathe into it and then add the resistive dynamic motion. You can even have your arms up straight in a yoga gun, squeezing your upper arm bones into the side of the body, pushing your shoulder blades down, opening and expanding through your heart.
All right, if you did 10 reps of that, you are awesome. Next up, we have a psoas heart opener. So from hands and knees, bring one leg forward, lift the same arm so that you are in a bit of a twist, hold that pose or bend the back leg and reach around to the foot. From here, you're going to open your chest, kick your foot into your hand and resist so you get that resistive stretch through your chest, pushing into the palm that's on the floor, opening up through the front hip, keeping the contraction of the back quad and in the chest as you open and expand and breathe. I did about 10 breaths on this side. And then slowly release, tucking the back toes, moving into a forward bend hamstring stretch for a few deep breaths right here. Nice work. We're going to switch sides. So from hands and knees, other leg forward, bend the back leg if you can, lift the same arm as the front leg, going, moving, breathing into that heart opener if you can, or just hold the twist with your arms extended, extending through your fingertips. Kicking into that hand if you are in that full twist, adding the tension through the chest, Shoulder blades push away from the ears to create space. Breathe, stay focused, focus on your heart expansion. And then slowly release, tuck the back toes into a forward bend hamstring stretch. A few deep breaths here, letting all the tension and the stress drain out of your fingertips, drain out of your feet into the floor. Alright, come into a seated position as comfortable as possible and copying me. So arm bent 90 degrees. This is a resistive stretch. So that arm bent is going to push back as the front arm pulls that arm across the body. Once again, a resistive stretch. This is best done if you keep your shoulder blades pressing down and back. You're going to feel this stretch around your shoulder blade into your trap. It's great for tight traps and shoulders and it also hits the small and large intestine meridian. So it doesn't have to be a lot of resistance, but you do have to apply it to get the fascial adhesion breakdown. And then arm bent as demonstrated. Now you're going to push your elbow up and that arm is going to push the elbow down and across in a diagonal motion. So the two opposing resistive forces are stretching once again through your shoulder, a little bit into the back of the shoulder and your upper trap. Same thing, small and large intestine right here. All right, nice work. Shake that out and then moving in right into the other side. Arm bent 90 degrees, pushing back as that other arm pulls it across, resisting that motion. Imagining as if the arm that is pulling the resistive arm across is someone else's arm and you are resisting that motion. Keeping your shoulder blades down and back, spine straight, heart open, body tall, using your breath. All right, nice work. Shake it out and then arm bent as demonstrated. Elbow pushes up as the palm pushes the elbow down and across. So, so the resistance happens with the elbow pushing up and back. The hand pushes down and across. Keeping your shoulder blades down and back. Use your core. This should make you sweat and use your breath. Nice work. Shake it out 
and then come into a seated position as demonstrated. Elbows are going to push into the knees, that's the resistance. The knees push the elbows in. So keeping your shoulder blades down and back once again, this is going to engage your inner thigh and your abs. So you will feel a strong contraction through those muscles. But the elbows push out, the knees push the elbows in with that resistance. Once again, this hits the small and large intestine meridian. This is great for freeing up movement within your digestive organs. Thank you so much for joining me. Please leave me a comment below with any questions, concerns, or anything else that you would like to see me produce for you. And if you're interested in training with me, check out my links below for all of my courses, which are pay what you can. They're so awesome. My latest and greatest is 21 days to phenomenal abdominals. Those of you who have been following me for a while, you can see that I've lost anywhere from 15 to 20 pounds and I've put it all in my latest course, 21 Days to Phenomenal Abdominals. So check them out if you like and take care. Ciao.